Hello, people of the internet. So I'm going to do a quick demo of how I um, get my hair dry in the winter. This is the quickest and easiest way that I have found to maintain my curls. I do follow the curly girl method. Um, and this is kind of like the routine that I have developed that I think is the fastest and the kind of like most no fuss. So straight out of the shower, I applied my leave-in to dripping wet hair. You can use whatever leave-in conditioner you prefer or just a regular conditioner if that's what you like. Um, and then I also added a little bit of a wave maker. Um, so all of those products were applied with praying hands and then some scrunching and then I did plop in a t-shirt for the length of time that it would take for me to dress, get dressed, put lotion on, get dressed, and do my skincare, uh, and then get this filming supplies assembled. So I was, pl I plopped for probably like 15 minutes and now my hair has just been out air drying actually while I got dressed and got filming set up and so I'm probably... Like, you can see that I'm already getting a little bit of a light cast forming from the wave maker. Um, so this is a little bit of like a Smasters style technique. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing Smasters right or not, there's not a lot of demos on the internet. From my understanding, I'm doing a version of Smasters, <laughs> so that might be the title of this video. Um, I just love that this is a way to get lots of volume, uh, and uh, it just seems to speed up my drying. So that's why I love the Smasters technique and that's why I have adopted a form of it. So anyways, straight out of the, the shower, soaking wet, um, I squeeze out some excess moisture just so that I don't waste too much product and then leave-in conditioner and then some wave maker. Just a little bit of wave maker, just enough to give me a tiny bit of hold so that the curls that are kind of forming uh, while I'm air drying and letting it be down just so that they're kind of have some hold to them. So the deal with Smasters is you basically let your hair get to 50% dry and then you're going to kind of re-wet it and add more product and, uh, and diffuse. So this I think is a really really ideal hair routine for somebody with very high porosity. Someone like myself, I color my hair, it's blue, you'll see it. Um, so my hair is pretty dry, it's also just prone to, like it's fine, it's prone to being uh, on the drier end anyway. So uh, with my high porosity, my hair dries very, very quickly. If you're a person with low porosity and you're already spending like 45 minutes diffusing your hair, you're probably not going to be excited about a method where you add more water halfway through. So I'm just going to say right now, if you're looking for quick and easy and you have lower porosity hair, this is probably not the routine for you. Um, but if you have very high porosity hair like myself, uh, then maybe this will be, maybe this will be helpful. So you can see though that I'm probably, I'm well into 50% dry. I find that my roots tend to take the longest to dry because they haven't been bleached, so maybe they're a little bit, uh, have a little bit more cuticle to them, so they hang onto the moisture. At the bottom, honestly, my ends at this point are like basically dry. Um, sorry, I feel it on my face. They're basically dry. So that's kind of what you're looking for with Smasters. Um, one of my complaints with Smasters would be that people tend to waste a lot of water with it. I don't think that's necessary. I have a spray bottle here. This is some aloe vera juice. You could just use regular water, um, but I love aloe vera juice, so I'm always adding it in. And then this is a little spray bottle of water as well. So to start, we're basically going to add more product. So I'm going to grab a little bit of... Um, a little bit of wave maker. Now, if you're someone who likes definition and doesn't like volume, I'm just like not the person for you because that's not my jam. <laughs> um, but so I'm gonna completely emulsify it in my hands. And then I have a mirror over here, so that's the mirror I'm gonna use. Um, but I am gonna apply it with some praying hands and then kind of feeling, yeah, my hair, honestly, it could just use more water. So I'm just adding more water to my hands and there's still lots and lots of wave maker in the mix as well. Right now, I'm really just trying to get get my hair wet. Uh, that's kind of like the plan. I want it to I want it wet enough that it starts to form clumps. So can you see how like it's a little bit clumpier over here versus maybe you can see we're a little stringy and dry over here. So we're adding we're adding more water. So that's basically what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna. So I'm just going to alternate between aloe vera juice and water because I just like to put aloe vera juice in my hair for the extra moisture. Also, I live in Canada and aloe vera juice is a natural anti-humectant, which means it's going to seal the moisture into my hair. <laughs> if you live in a place like that doesn't have... Yeah, I'm just spraying the water straight in now. So with high porosity hair, your hair doesn't stay at the ideal wetness level for very long. 
So if you're trying to figure out your porosity, and that sounds like you, your hair just like, you find yourself adding water while you're styling, uh, girl, you got high porosity, probably. So it's just all nicely emulsified. And we're gonna scrunch it in. And now I, I try not to get my hair too wet because I don't want to spend too much time diffusing it. But I do find that there is just like, to a certain extent, you just gotta, you gotta let it get wet enough that it can form those clumps. Again, you can kind of see, hopefully over here now. See how there's like, there's just a little bit more clumpy looking. Um, I'm just adding in some water. Going, looking for that ideal moisture level. Just getting some scrunching in here. Now I do like to add some styler at the root so that I do have a little bit of body on there. So I'm just gonna... Now I try not to, at this stage in the game, I try not to do too much upside down business unless I'm already diffusing. I just find that um, by going full upside down, the curl clumps on the top don't get a chance to like form when they're getting shifted around all the time. Um, so I have just found that for me, my hair is pretty fine. Doesn't really want to clump very much. I don't really have a lot of hair to clump. Um, so it it just doesn't want to. It, it doesn't want to make big luscious clumps. That's why I've leaned into volume because uh, when I get really big clumps, I lose I, my hair. I just it's too low, it's too flat. Um, okay, so so I'm just gonna take a look. Yeah, so this is about perfect. Like you can see that it's it's forming like some pretty nice wavy deals. Okay, so if it were summertime, I would actually call it here. I'm a curl cream person. I don't prefer a gel. Um, I, I like the soft hold of a, of a curl cream, so this is where I would call it. However, as mentioned, it's winter. So in Canada, um, it's cold. <laughs> and basically there's so, oh, my battery's about to die. So yeah, I use a flaxseed gel because again, flaxseed gel is, an an, is a natural anti-humectant. It's very hard to find um, a curl cream that doesn't have humectants like glycerin or like propylene glycol, that sort of thing. Now, don't get me wrong, humectants, my best friend in the summertime, just not in the winter. So don't let me confuse you about that. If you have a product and has glycerin and you love it and it's working for your hair, girl, use it. You probably don't live here. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in a little bit of flaxseed gel. This is what it looks like. I keep mine frozen um, because I only use it about once a week and it just doesn't keep that long. But what I enjoy about the freezing is that I can, it's almost easier to manage when it's frozen than um, not, and if you've used flaxseed gel, you know what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like, straight up looks like boogers, I'm putting it in my hair anyway. So, um, I like to keep it frozen because I just think the texture is a little bit better. Um, and then I'm going to add in some aloe vera, and again, natural anti-humectant, right? So we are sealing my moisture in from the nasty cold. And then this is just going to go in, again, with some praying hands, and then some scrunching. I'm gonna make sure I get lots in my bangs. And again, kind of around my roots because I want that volume. Grabbing some more. Um, I don't know if I've ever found that there can be such thing as too much flaxseed gel. I friggin' love flaxseed gel. Um, it's the only gel that I've really found that works really well with my hair. So, add more water. It's the only gel I've found that works really well with my hair. Um, it's like dirt, 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 dirt cheap. And it's really easy to make. I'm sure I'll end up putting a DIY on this channel eventually because if you're not using flaxseed gel, it's just, it's too bad. <laughs> if you're not using flaxseed gel, that's too bad. Um, I mean, unless you've tried it and you don't like it. Right? You don't have to agree with me. But if you've never tried it. So now I'm just taking a little bit of the gel. Now because it's been frozen, it's a little bit lumpy. So I find that I have to work it extra. That was a gross sound. I have to work it extra hard to um, 
get it to actually you know what that chunk's not gonna break up and then I'm really like filling my palm with water because I'm trying to get at this point my hair is not wet enough for smasters so we are adding water lots of water and actually you know what there's a lot of gel still on my hands so I'm just gonna You know, I'm kind of hoping that these videos are going to turn out to be somewhat watchable because I I feel like I'm giving y'all lots of great tips and like, do I need to make a separate video on like, hey, keep your flaxseed gel in the freezer and then it's easier to handle. Like, do I need a video on that? I don't know. But if anyone's patient enough to watch this whole thing, they will know that. I'm just gonna stop talking and get this done. Oh, another um, great tip that I was given when I was first figuring out. See, so hear that sound? That squish? That's what we're going for. I want that squish sound. Then I know I'm getting the best clumps possible. Just grabbing some water. There. So the tip that I picked up from someone's video, I think it might have been, I'm going to link her because she has a really good Smasters video. Uh, and she basically said, you know, it's got to be wet. Like, if your hair is not, your product should feel slimy. Whether you're adding a cream, a conditioner, a gel. Girl, you want that to feel real slimy. I've also heard, just in terms of how much product in general, Smasters aside, that you want your hair to smell like feel like slimy noodles so maybe that's a helpful tip as well because I'm starting to find I'm definitely noticing like we are getting the slimy noodle effect for sure so I'm just trying to I'm basically just fiddling with it until I hear the sound especially because I'm using the viewfinder now as a mirror giving up on my mirror I honestly wonder, my hair dries so fast, I wonder if I need to plop it all. I could probably just do this all right out of the shower. But I plop because um, I want my hair out of my way while I do my skincare and get dressed and stuff. I want it just dripping everywhere. Okay. Uno momento. It's not normal for me to add water this close to my scalp, but now that I'm doing a demo, I want it to turn out. with the way that the product is in. I've got my, my slimy noodles. They're clumping well. They're making the sound. Now I just want to pull as much moisture back out of my hair as I can. So I'm going to use a microwave fiber towel. And the flame grew my 
much higher And my whole faith and every last desire Was just another thing that we lost in the fire Just another thing that we lost Going nowhere, going nowhere down in circles. Nothing left, nothing left to say. Okay, so we can see there. It's pretty dry now. We're probably at a good like fifty percent dry already. All right, so we're going to do a few minutes of just regular diffu of, uh, diffusing, alternating between cool and warm. I'm going to diffuse it like till it's about as dry as I'm, so I'm sick of diffusing basically. Um, and that's, that's what we going to do. Let's do it. Black and attic is a boy of fright. Imagination and the dark cold light. He don't panic, he ain't alone. This kid is like got a lucky stone. There ain't nothing like a lucky stone. Like a lucky stone in your pocket. pocket. There ain't nothing like a lucky stone. Like a lucky stone in your pocket. Just gravel from the roadside well Looks about the same as any pebble This one's special, it's a gypsy zone Hey, can't you tell it's a lucky stone? There ain't nothing like a lucky stone Like a lucky stone in your pocket There ain't nothing like a lucky stone Like a lucky stone in your pocket we all long for something strong Security we rely on Hey, God, your name, your do call your own It may as well be a lucky stone There ain't nothing like a lucky stone Like a lucky stone in your pocket, pocket There ain't nothing like a lucky stone Like a lucky stone in your pocket scrunch up the crunch together. I don't always get a gel cast from uh, diffusing, but y'all saw how much flaxseed gel I put in my hair, and I do find that it gives me a cast, and I do find that it has great hold. Not everyone does. Both these things are true for me. So, goodbye for now. Okay, I'm back. So, I have let my hair air dry for a bit longer than I thought it needed, actually. I guess I didn't get it quite as dry as I uh, wanted to, but for me, I'm not going out, so I don't like anytime soon I'm not leaving the house so I would prefer to just bum around and let it finish air drying so that is what I did I did hit it with the diffuser um, for a couple seconds 
all around just to make sure that it was dry before I scrunch up the crunch. So if you're not new to Curly Girl videos, this is not news to you. I'm about to uh, scrunch up my gel cast. I had a little bit more of a cast from the flaxseed gel um, a couple minutes ago, but I did <laughs> diffuse it a little and I did break up a bit of the cast, which I'm not mad about, but why don't I just give it a little, why don't I give it a little spin? Just so you can kind of see, like, So that's what we're dealing with. Okay, so now I'm going to scrunch up my gel cast. Uh, I just use my hands. I don't know. I don't find I get an incredible amount of frizz from this. Some people put different things on their hands or they, you know, will use a microfiber towel or something. Um, I guess I'm like cupping and scrunching, if that helps maybe, like, cause I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not scrunching everywhere. Um, and this is, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of shaking because you know I did put some product at the root. And then we're gonna just scrunch this side. I'm going to look in the mirror, the side. And those are pretty much for all intents and purposes. Those are the results. I'll give you a little, give you a little spin. And so now um, I can't feel any more gel. I don't have any more cast or anything. Um, this is this is just my hair. So I did get a haircut. This is my first time styling it since uh, I had a trim. So it it will get better. Uh, a lot of the time curls can go into shock when you first have a haircut, but I'm I'm liking my haircut. And you can so you can see that I do have good definition uh, with this method. All right, now I'm gonna just finish everything off with, this is a sea spray, the brand is Verb. I picked this up at just my local Chatters. I don't know if this is all over, I don't, honestly don't know where Chatters are, but Chatters is a store and this is where I got it. Uh, <laughs> what I, if you can't find this particular product, what I will say first of all is, this is called Verb Sea Spray Windswept Waves and Light Dry Texture. Uh, so this is also CG friendly, even though there is a ingredient that doesn't seem like it would be, but Carlsbot says it's fine and that's good enough for me. Um, I picked this product particularly because, uh, so that it's in its ingredients we have water, magnesium sulfate, and then hydrolyzed quinoa. So the magnesium sulfate is the curl activator that you get in a lot of beach sprays, that's like the salt. Um, so I love this for being a curl activator and I wanted it for that. The hydrolyzed quinoa, I picked it up because my hair is desperate for protein. I have high porosity, so if I can get some protein on, uh, that's great. So there's like a few, uh, we have quinoa and then we have oat kernel. So that's just because I wanted to put protein into my hair. Um, and then we have some sea salt, also a curl activator. And then we have a hydrogenated cast castor oil. So there's a bunch of oils and... Um, those are things that tend to be anti-humectant as well. So this is an anti-humectant. There's some glycerin, but it's pretty far down. Um, and then just like lots of oils. So this is basically like an oily, salty spray. And that's why I picked it. I picked it um, because I've learned that my hair does like light amounts of oil in the wintertime as a styler. In the summertime, I'm pretty sure this is going to make my hair very, very stringy. But in the wintertime, I do enjoy putting a little bit of oil on the ends to lock in all of my moisture. Oil is also an anti-humectant, so again, we're locking moisture in. I should probably do a whole video on dew points and humectants and that sort of thing. Um, but this is an example of a product that has become a holy grail for me for winter, uh, but I will probably not use it in the summertime. So I basically picked this for the oil and for the salts for the curl activation. Now I'm using it partly to get a little bit of curl activation. The oils are going to seal. Um, and then lastly, just I, I do get find that I get some volume from this and a little bit of hold. So my hair is kind of fine uh, and I find that this does give me a little bit of hold once I've scrunched out my gel cast. I am always very 
light-handed with oils at, at this stage in the styling game. Uh, so I use pretty small amount. I'm gonna use a pretty small amount of product and some pretty timid sprays, if I'm honest. And I do try to do one there. Um, and I will. I will, and then I will scrunch this in as well. And the hope here is just a bit of volume. All right, and that is the, that's everything. That's the whole look. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, bye. <laughs> Black and Attic is a boy of fright Imagination and the dark hole light He don't panic, he ain't alone This kid is like a guy